Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 26th of 2024 is titled Regulus and the Dwarf Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the bright star Regulus in the constellation of Leo. Now, Regulus, as with any star that we look at, we don't see any detail. Stars are very far away and very not very big relative to their distances. So through even the most powerful telescopes, they will look just like a point of light. There are only a handful of stars that are close enough and large enough that we can start to see the hints of a disk of the star. So for the most part, all we ever see, even through the most powerful telescopes, is just that point of light. Now, here we see that bright star. And of course, we see many other stars around that are also within our galaxy. But down below Regulus, there is a group of stars, in fact, that is not a part of our galaxy, but is actually another galaxy itself. And this is the Leo 1 galaxy. It's an example of what we call a dwarf spheroidal galaxy. So a very tiny thing, uh, sort of spherical, as you can imagine, and made up of a great number of stars certainly far less than our own Milky Way as it is a much smaller galaxy, but still much more than what we see. Typically, you can see that concentration of stars there that they all kind of just blur together. And you have trouble picking out in many cases individual stars there. Now this is about 800,000 light years away. Now that's still within our local group of galaxies. So our local group is a group of nearly 50 galaxies or so that are the local region of space. Those are the galaxies that we are a part of. That includes our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, as well as the Triangulum Galaxy as three prominent spiral galaxies within that. And then there are a lot of galaxies like the Leo 1 galaxy. And those are dwarf spheroidal galaxies. We also have irregular type galaxies that are just have no distinct discernible shape to them. Now, as we study these galaxies, we try to learn more about these ones because they're probably very common galaxies in the universe, but they're hard to see because they're not visible unless they are relatively close to us. Now, while 800,000 light years may sound tremendous, it's really next door in terms of galaxies when we start talking about many millions and billions of light years away. So trying to learn more about these may help us learn more about the more prom the, the more common galaxies in the universe, and not just the very large prominent ones that can be seen over great distances. And in fact, looking at this dwarf galaxy, again, much smaller than our Milky Way, has a massive black hole at its center. Now this is common in many galaxies, including our own Milky Way. But the question here would be why this galaxy has such a large black hole at its center, in fact, comparable in size to the one at the center of our Milky Way. So perhaps better understanding that will help us understand how the different sizes of black holes form and the details of this, how that works in a smaller galaxy such as the Leo one dwarf spheroidal galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for April 26th of 2024. It was titled Regulus and the Dwarf Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be all around eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.